G'day everybody and welcome back. Thought I might try something different. Uh, may have been inspired by someone that we know. But rather than taking the piss out of uh, other people, what I thought I'd do is take the piss out of other people. But a little bit differently. This is my garage and I've got my little editing suite set up here with a television that just so also happens to be connected to my computer and um, I can stream Foxtel etc. So I sit down here at night with my best mate Lou who uh, is affectionately known as Bat Dog and we sit here and watch TV and I chain smoke and look at my motorbikes. It's a sad, sad world, I know. So anyway, today I think I'd like to let's turn that all the way up so I can play with the volume. So I've got the headsets on because um, I just um, don't want the sound of the TV coming in and interrupting with the microphone on the GoPro. I don't have my remote mic. I've uh, packed them. Anywho, um, Dash Cam owners Australia. Now, I think there is nothing more un-Australian than Dash Cam, says he who puts a GoPro on his motorcycle. But they become a bit of a dibber dobber thing. Um, however, these things, uh, I, I find myself going down a rabbit hole and uh, binge watching videos on YouTube on dash cam owners simply because I find them entertaining and um, I also think that they make you far more aware on the road because quite often the same themes keep coming up that, that cause accidents etc. Now, if we just have a quick look at the screen, this is this is the channel, it's Dash Cam Owners Australia. And you can see they have uh, quite a number of videos here, most of which I've already watched. I like to go into the playlists and they have um, the monthly compilations. So these are videos that, you know, they put together as an on the road compilation and they have a lot of near misses and incidents and funny things and as you can see I have watched most of those. The other one that I find is very good is the crashes compilations. Now these again as you can see I've pretty well watched all of them. Um, these things tend to um, they're, they're all crashes and they have um, often recurring themes that will go through and I find them interesting as a motorcyclist it helps to make me more aware of potential dangerous situations just by watching these videos <clears throat> so without further ado we'll crack on we'll just pick one at random let's do the one that we're hovered on here. I'll uh, I'll set this up. Back to school. I'll get back. into the ads, <laughs> and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back, and we're ready to start rolling through this one. I need to probably forewarn you that Australians <laughs> can be very colourful in their in their reactions. Um, when incidents happen on the road and the language is often as funny as some of the other bits and pieces that go on. So just be warned there will be language and if you're sensitive to motor vehicle accidents uh, for any reason, whether that you know, be a PTSD issue or, or some sort of psychological problem, I suggest you probably turn off because while there's no blood and guts and gore, these things could cause you issues. So look away, turn off, move on, go and watch something else. If uh, Go and watch Mad at the Workshop Tear at Carve Up Del Boy's Garage if, um, if, if you don't want to watch this. But here we go. Oh, 
All right, so first interjection. <laughs> I've just realised this is one on what truck drivers put up with daily. Um, it is a crash com in the crash compilations list, but it's uh, come up as, as this one. So we'll, we may roll into a second one. Um, my th thinking is that if they don't see trucks, they're not going to see car uh, bikes. But quite often, it's it, as in that accident there, it's people just not being aware of their position on the road around large trucks and the lack of visibility from the drivers. Whoa, Jesus. And he rides off into the sunset like nothing ever happened. Here we go, straight through an intersection. Now, if that was a motorcycle, the guy in that car probably is a bit worse for wear, to be fair. There's just no stopping that much tonnage. Oh, well done. Well done. What happened there? So I'll tell you what happened there. Um, the truck obviously had its indicator going to turn left. He's positioned himself in the right-hand lane. Um, it's um, because he's going to occupy both lanes as he makes the turn. And um, this numpty was coming down the left-hand lane and tried to go around him. And, and the guy in the prime mover who's parked over here would have been doing his best, but just did not see the guy. Okay, Jess, Chris, listen, mate, I'm just wondering, um, can you give me a call? We Badly loaded trailer. Too much weight over the back axle of the car, of the trailer. Turn the sound off. Why have they turned the sound off? So this car's merging, this truck's coming up alongside. Oh, oh, it out! I got no idea what's happened there, but it's just jackknife and spun the thing around. So this Muppet's pulled over because he wants to turn right here with these lights. He's in a, a, a straight through lane. He's not in the turning lane. Oh, that's some, it was lucky that cement truck avoided him. It was prime movers pulled across and not seeing the car in the left lane. Oh my god. Fifty ton. Oh. I guarantee he would have been on the phone. <laughs> Drifting into the truck's lane. Bit of skyhooks, boys.
Oh, another badly loaded caravan. Oh, my God. Yep. I can't see. Oh, shit. That would have been one dead dude. What the hell is wrong with people? They're measuring into one lane up here. Oh, this car is cooked. Not the best decision. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a road train coming at him then. That was... That, that's a soul in that car that would have been floating up. That's not a road train because he's got a speed limit at 96. And road trains are restricted in Australia to 90 kilometres an hour. In fact, I think Australia is the only place that has road trains. Road trains are not B-doubles. Road trains are full-size trailers coupled with ring feeders, two and three long. Uh, they're restricted in certain parts of the country. They can't come into the metropolitan areas, for example. And um, they have a speed limit of 90. Wet roads, always fun. Yeah, there you go. Hi, it's Susan Thompson with the news at 6.30. Coming up, a major wet weather event. Hey, stop on, stop on! Bingley is celebrating a straight day. Bicycle and grab a bargain. Heavy rain, 40 round parts. Well, I like to do. Slow it down and drive to the gate. Travelling in from Dolby. Um, Straight past Barnville. Had cruise control set on 90. Um, had a line of traffic behind me. Um, the Subaru wagon that was the instigator of the little event. It followed me all, pretty much all the way from Dolby. Um, stayed behind me at, at 90 road train speed limit um, through the first lot of overtaken lanes. Um, a Hilux that was behind him came around me and went, um, no problems. Uh, a couple of cars went past and then there was another black car coming towards me and I just happened to check in my mirror as the black car was getting closer and the Subaru is right beside the Troy on me lead trailer and the black car's 150 metres away just there was nowhere to go um, so as I've moved over the left hand tyres have hit the edge of the asphalt and because the shoulder is so steep it just started to take the dog trailer away from me um, so I had just had to turn um, if I hadn't moved over um, it would have been a head on collision that probably would have ended up underneath my dog trailer at the back with well, two in the Subaru, and I'm not sure how many in the black car, more than likely all dead. Right, well, we've just rolled into number 11, so we'll run through this one. Red light runners, that's a recurring theme. Bloody idiots. That's what happens when Lou is slip diffs to work. <laughs> Good job, mate. Oh, I just saw that. Did you see that? That was a. Um, just watch over here. This this truck.
poor thing. It's a bit hard to see. Oh. <sighs> T-boned. Now, look, that's another recurring theme. When you have multiple lanes of traffic, often on these crash compilation videos, you will see people thinking they're being courteous and they will stop uh, in slow moving or, or stationary traffic to allow vehicles to cross. The only problem is the driver of that car cannot see until his bonnet is in the lane adjacent. And if there's anything coming down that lane or a bus lane or anything like that, <clears throat> it usually doesn't end well. So my the way I drive is if I have right of way, I will take that right of way. I don't yield it because um, it only creates other issues. You now, whether people think I'm not being courteous or not, I don't care. Uh, I've seen enough of this to understand that you just you just can't do it. You just can't do it. They just have to wait. This truck driver cannot see that person in that car. He can't see him. He can now. Just stupid. This will be a red light runner. Women often don't react better than men. Jesus Christ! But if that had been a motorcycle? Oh. Here's a motorcycle. Oh, Christ. Oh, what was going on with the sound on that one? <clears throat> Let's look at that one again, because that bike rider was 100% in the wrong. In Australia, our roundabouts run clockwise. And if you're going to um, exit a roundabout, you need to be in the left lane. There are often two lanes exiting the roundabout. However, um, you need to be in the left lane because the, the road rules say you don't, but reality is you need to be because the dickheads on the, in the left lane aren't always going to exit left. They, that some of them will continue to go around the roundabout and I've nearly been caught out by that myself on an XR500 um, many years ago where I was in the right-hand lane. Both the, the guy beside me, I assumed, was going to be travelling like straight through and exiting the roundabout with me and he continued on. Same as what just happened here. So, so to say the motorcyclist was in the wrong is probably not right. That car is in the wrong. That dickhead here, he sh he shouldn't be sitting in that outside lane and continuing around the roundabout. I don't know what all that noise is in the background. This whoever recorded this. Stupid. <clears throat> that was the bike rider's fault. Whoa, why has he stopped? Oh, because the light went orange and he slammed on the brakes. Oh. Perfect example. Perfect example of what I was talking about. So this bloke in the white car has thought, I'll be courteous and let this driver across, but there's a vacant lane beside him, and that's where the problems are. Um, let's go back and have another look. Oh! Now, if that was a motorcyclist, no point in either direction, it would have been bad. 
Because some dickhead couldn't merge. It's always fun. Yes. Good on your muppet. Oh, Jesus. Like you expect to see someone walking across a bloody highway. In the dark. So he's come from the left hand lane, right across the th three lanes. Oh. Yeah. Straight through a stop sign. Oh, this truck's backing up. Around the roundabout. And. What are you doing, mate? What was that bloke doing? Just ran straight into that bike. You want to stay away from there, mate. This poor bloke trying to get his semi trailer around the corner. I think he misjudged the swing. There's plenty of room that you can back that up. Yeah, that a boy. Idiots! The road rules in Australia say you give way to all vehicles on or approaching the roundabout. You don't give way on the roundabout. So this muppet here has hit the brakes and this poor bloke's come around the corner and just slammed right into him. Dickheads. If you have right of way, give you, you keep your right of way. A jack to a king and bell. Then you have to pay in attention, pay. probably on the phone. The world in Fucking idiots! Yes. Straight in the back of a park car. Why is he stopped? <laughs> now that was inattended by the person that hit them. Yep, turn right across in front of you, mate. And your headlights weren't on. Did you notice that? So it's a dark night. Where are the headlights on this car that we're sitting in? <sighs> Might have had his park lights on. Hey. Dickhead truck driver, you're on a motorcycle and you're sitting in here. What's happened to you now? This is why we filter. <clears throat> so was that people letting that guy across again another ep episode of that this this lane here is moving freely these are not i don't know whether he's turned against the tide or they've waved him through but that's just yep completely in attentiveness oh, poo Lou are you serious
I didn't say that because I was like, well, my dog fart. Oh, he's here to park car. Probably on the phone. Or overwhelmed by dog farts. Straight through a red light. And, and the, the thing that amazes me though, like, I don't know about you guys, but as a, as a rider, before I take off from a green light, I'm not focused a half a kilometre up the road. I'm looking side to side because of dickheads like that. Um, they just blindly drive out into an intersection without looking. Even and never assume that that red light is being obeyed. Yep. This idiot let this bloke through and this poor bastard's hit him. Because you can't see. So what's happened there is this bloke isn't paying attention, probably texting his mistress, and um, the light has gone green to turn right. These cars beside him have driven off, and he's just gone, oh, okay, and ran into the car in front of him. Oh, and everyone's on the brakes, and it's all gone to custard. And that truck's gone into the oncoming traffic. Was that the same? Was that the same thing? I told you there's recurring themes. Never like those extensions. Yep. <laughs> he's he's stopped and let this guy drive through, unless that's a turning lane. That might be a, a lane that's turning, and this dickhead's just decided he's going to drive out without being able to see. Shut! He whipped. He had no chance. No, it's not a turning lane. That you leading through. What was he thinking? Oh. So, there you go, a bit of dash, dash cam in Owners Australia from a motorcyclist's point of view. Something different. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I will be back next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now.